CES 2026 is hitting the Vegas Strip. We're bringing you all the highlights. Citing national security concerns, the White House halts a big chips deal. And SPIE names 40 fellows for its class of 2026. All your industry headlines are on Photonic Spectra Now. Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by Edmund Optics. The future depends on optics. Visit edmundoptics.com to learn more. This is Photonic Spectra Now, covering all the latest news and developments across the industry. I'm Joe Kaczynski, Senior Editor with Photonic Spectra. CES 2026 is underway this week in Vegas, and there is no shortage of photonic fueled advancements. Here's a look at some of the biggest developments making industry headlines. Let's start with a new AI-based full image single processor from Chips Media and Visionary AI. This ISP can supercharge video in real time and could replace traditional fixed function chips with limited image quality. The companies say this could mark a paradigm shift for the imaging industry. Anello Photonics used the CES platform to launch Aerial INS, a compact, high-performance inertial navigation system. Now we've heard a lot of stories lately on GPS jamming and spoofing. This could offer a solution for accurate navigation in the most contested environments. A couple of LiDAR advancements to report, with Ava and NVIDIA teaming up to integrate 4D LiDAR within the NVIDIA Drive Hyperion platform, with potential to bring level four automated driving to nearly any vehicle. InnoViz Technologies debuts sensor fusion colored 3D LiDAR with camera in InnoViz 3. Designed for behind windshield installation, drones, and micro robotics, this compact sensor fusion module could make this technology easy to integrate into new applications. AR Glass is also getting plenty of attention. Lumos unveiled next gen waveguides for headsets, allowing for more than 70 degrees in field of view. And Hymax and Vuzix are making AR glasses more accessible with a reference design that can support prescription lenses. Along with the breakthroughs, there were also some honors to hand out. SixFab's Alpon X5 AI was named CES 2026 Best Innovation. Further evidence that AI is still leading tech trends. This deployment-ready physical AI system integrates hardware, embedded software, and cloud-based management, meeting rising operational demands. And Corning earned CES 2026 Innovation Honors for its advanced glass surface treatments, reducing reflection and glare, with its sights set on better display systems in vehicles. Be sure to head to photonics.com to learn more about all the photonic advancements taking center stage at CES. We're learning more now about the company at the center of a chips deal blocked by U.S. President Donald Trump. Earlier this week, the White House cited national security concerns and relations to China as just cause to halt HIFO Corp from acquiring semiconductor assets from New Jersey-based MCOR. And while the photonics firm HIFO lists its corporate headquarters in California, the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation pointed us to a California state document that shows that nearly 52% of HIFO is owned by a Hong Kong-based company called the Asia-Pacific Environment Investment Limited. The president is ordering HIFO to divest all MCOR semiconductor assets after federal agencies determined the deal could expose sensitive U.S. chips tech. President Trump says that HIFO is, quote, controlled by a citizen of the People's Republic of China and that it could take action that threatens the national security of the U.S. No details on how specifically it would put the U.S. at risk, or who exactly this person is that's controlling the company were provided. Strengthening Europe's semiconductor ecosystem, Global Foundries announced that it's teaming up with Finnish venture capital firm Cloudberry. Through the partnership, Global Foundries will participate as a limited partner in Cloudberry's new fund and provide additional expertise and resources. Additionally, Global Foundries will gain direct access to some of Europe's semiconductor and photonic startups, providing a pipeline to markets dealing with autonomous vehicles, physical AI, and next-gen communications. Topping financial headlines, Marvell Technologies is announcing plans to buy network equipment provider Xcon Technologies for $540 million. This move is considered a sign that the chip maker is doubling down on data center hardware as companies race to expand AI infrastructure. Marvell will expand its networking portfolio with this deal, enabling higher processing speeds for data center advancement. A new player is entering the field of integrated photonics, with Monarch Quantum officially launching as a privately held San Diego-based quantum photonics company. Monarch develops laser-based hardware capable of controlling quantum states to be used in quantum computing, sensing, and communications. The company hopes its quantum light engines can address existing bottlenecks in quantum hardware by offering easy-to-integrate photonic subsystems. 
At the helm of Monarch is Tim Day, who has more than 35 years of tech and business experience in this field. Day most recently served as Senior Vice President and GM of Leonardo DRS. And SPIE has named 40 Fellows of the Society, releasing its class of 2026. This year's class includes Ulrika Fuchs, Vice President of Strategy and Innovation at Aspherecon, Agnes Hubscher, Senior Director of Corporate Affairs, Communications and Industry Relations at Edmund Optics, and Stuart Singer, CEO of Schneider Optics, Inc. Have a story tip? You can email that directly to me at video at photonics.com. And for more details on these stories, be sure to head to photonics.com. Before you go, be sure to give us a like and click that subscribe button in the corner for all the latest videos from Photonics Media, including Photonics Spectre Now and the All Things Photonics Podcast. I'm Joe Kaczynski and thanks for watching.